One can grow trees in a flat, but the multi-storey skyscrapers that are springing up all over the country present more serious problems to their architects. One problem now solved was whether these modern homes incurred a greater fire risk than the normal house. The body to answer this question was obviously the Joint Fire Research Organization, who planned these experiments at their Boreham Wood, Hertfordshire headquarters. Wooden cribs, as they're called, are used to determine how a real fire reacts. While they're burnt, they're weighed by hanging the crib from a cantilever. Strain gauges coupled to a recorder show how rapidly it loses weight, thus determining the rate of burning. You saw, if you remember, three cribs of different size. Despite their size, they could all burn in the same time, depending on the rate of burning. But fire is a complex phenomenon, and obviously there are more complex ways of studying its behavior. By using a gas-fired model, scientists can control the rate of burning by turning a tap, and thus study whether the rate of burning is affected by the height or ferocity of the flames. You might think it's all very well conducting these experiments, but in a genuine fire, you can't control the flames by turning a tap. But in fact, during a fire, radiation falling on the fuel liberates combustible gases, which has the same effect as turning the tap. To find out how radiation influences a fire, just watch this experiment in which the radiation of a gas-fired panel falls on a piece of fiberboard. This four-storied building was specially constructed with fire-prevented materials in order to see that what's successful in the laboratory is successful in practice. These experiments provide information which enables the fire research worker to predict how long a fire in a building will last. This, of course, is useful to the architect and builder, for it enables them to construct a building able to withstand the punishment to which a fire might subject it. Even now, however, they're not satisfied. What is being attempted here is to limit the fire to the ground floor and prevent it spreading to the upper stories. Because of research like this, no flat dweller need fear a fire any more than someone living in a house.